waiver wire order. Let's get into it. So this is for today when we are picking up players, because yes, there will be players signed today from the waiver wire and all the players that got cut will go into a little bit of a, you know, I don't say a poll, but into a list and then players get, um, teams get to go ahead and sign them. But depending on where you are in that order, depends on if you're able to sign the players or not. For example, Carolina Panthers are going to be number one. They have the top priority. So if they want someone, Carolina gets them. That's pretty much how this works. And then after they get someone, then the Washington Commanders get to choose someone. And then so on and so on. It's like the NFL draft pretty much, okay? Um, we are currently sitting at number 18. So we're kind of middle of the pack, um, which does kind of suck. But this is what happens when you are a good team. Uh, the whole point is that bad teams can get better from this and good teams have to suffer because they're good teams. So number 18 is kind of in that, you know, middle of the pack range. We're still going to be able to get a lot of good players. But let's talk about who got cut yesterday. And I think the first thing we want to start with is defense alignment because we need to pick up somebody, I feel like, especially for depth purposes on the defensive line. Now, yes, we announced our 53 mayor boss yesterday, but if someone becomes available that we consider better than who we have, we will move that player down to the practice squad and we will pick somebody else up. A really good example of this is Joe Batchy. It's very possible Joe Batchy could find himself on the practice squad and if we wanted to pick up, for example, another linebacker and then so on and so on, right? Tyson Anderson could be another example of this. Just because you make the 53-man roster doesn't mean you're solidified on the roster. If somebody else gets picked up, it's very possible you just get, you know, booted off the roster. I think, I forget which NFL player talked about this, but there was an NFL player who said that it's very blunt too. It's not like, you know, they sit you down and it's like, you know, it's like they go back and forth with you. They're very blunt. They're just call you up and say, hey, listen, um, we're going to have to cut you because we like this other guy and we don't like we don't see you being better than this other guy. So we're going to cut you and pick up the other guy. It's very blunt. It's very straightforward. They just tell you, hey, you're not better than this guy. So you're getting cut because you're not better than that guy. And it is what it is. So for defense alignment that got cut over the last couple of days, Jonah Williams, ironically enough. Um, the one guy I'm interested in is Carl Lawson. I think Carl Lawson is a guy that, you know, we could target. Obviously, played on our defense before. Knows lose system. Um, he won't cost that much. He just actually got picked up and then cut by the Cowboys. So, ironically enough, it's like, hey, we're going to add you and then we're going to cut you. Um, this could work out for us. It definitely could. Again, having another veteran on the defensive line that could be another rotation guy, especially because, again, we're going for a deep playoff run every year, but especially this year upcoming for a Super Bowl, you want to have some extra depth pieces on the defensive line. So that could be a really good option to kind of, you know, we missed out on him the first time. Maybe that also will lower the price tag. Because now he'll become, you know, more like I just want to be on a team and that will work out for us. Um, Raymond Johnson, the third, the guy we cut last season, he actually just went ahead and got cut by the Jags. So, again, could bring him back. He's a guy who's played for us before. He knows our system. Um, it doesn't 100% have to be a guy that, in quotes, you know, knows our system or knows our team for us to pick them up. They could, in theory, just be... Let me go ahead and go just to release here, just so we can see a little bit better. Um, it could be it could be like a you know fresh guy, a rookie, not a rookie, but more maybe a guy who's a veteran who's been around the league a little bit. I just want to see us pick up a defensive lineman who's a veteran. That's really what I care about. And I know Yannick Kwakwe is also available. He's an option. I just want to get someone who knows what they're doing on our defensive line because we have a lot of younger guys. And I'm talking about, obviously, the depth pieces here. We have a lot of younger guys, and I would like to potentially pick up someone a little bit older who has the ability to 
be a rotational guy and we can trust him, right? Especially this 53-man roster cut. This is when things like this, you can go ahead and target players. Um, but out of this list, now that we're cut down to just players that got released, um, I think Carl Lawson is definitely the best option here. I don't want to go for a second run of Jonah Williams. So did any cornerbacks that are good get cut? I could say good, but Rocky Unsan, I'm not really interested in him. We cut Jalen Davis. That's not surprising. Bobby Price. Can we trade Bobby Price for... I know we trade Billy Price for um, BJ Hill. Can we trade Bobby Price for another BJ Hill, but with a different name? I don't know. There was a joke there. I couldn't figure it out. AJ Green, cornerback, got cut for the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, this this is uh this is a cesspool of players getting cut. Usually you see like one and two good veterans. I mean, you got okay, CJ Henderson, good veteran. Um Yeah, there's no one I really care too much about here. Um safety position, Kareem Jackson got cut. Adrian Amos got cut. Okay, that's not a big deal. How about linebacker? Cause that's something we could use is another backup linebacker. Um, there's no one here. There's no one here I'm interested in. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Maybe we won't be too active when it comes to this. Deion Jones got cut. Maybe we won't be too active when it comes to this because none of these guys I'm really too interested in. Let's look at edge rushers. Um, Marcus Bailey... That's actually an old guy we had. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't think any of these guys I'm like... I'm actually thinking about picking... Like, I would think about picking up and adding to our team for defense. So let's look at offense. So, back up. Let's say guard. Okay. Al Collins. Woo. Yeah. There we go. Um... Other than Al Collins, Wyatt Davis got released? Am I crazy or is he still... I thought he was still good. Yeah, he's a third round pick 2021. Why did he get cut? Um, Okay, I mean, overall-wise, I wouldn't mind bringing in someone like Wyatt Davis here as a potential player. I, that, I actually really wouldn't mind bringing him as a depth piece. If he wants to be on a depth for a depth, you know, for rotation potentially, if something happens, I'm actually really okay with the idea of going with Wyatt Davis. Uh, he would not be a bad option. Let's look at the offensive lineman in general. Will Clapp still has the best name ever in the universe of history. <sighs> yeah, no. This um this is kind of a cesspool right now of players. Trent Taylor, we got Laquan Treadwell, nah, receivers, not really anything. I mean, we're not picking up a receiver anyway, but I just wanted to see if anyone, Donovan Peoples-Jones, the old ex-Cleveland Brownie. Um, running backs, who got cut running back-wise? Samaj P. Ryan did get cut. There was a lot of speculation slash talk about potentially us trading uh, before the cuts for Samaj P. Ryan. Listen, if we want to pick him up, I'm absolutely okay with that. We can just keep Travion to be strictly a kick and pump returner. Um, or not a kick and pump returner, but strictly to work on special teams. And I think that would be absolutely okay if we want to pick him up. I'm okay with that. Outside of that, there's no other really running back on this market. Um, if we, if Jake Browning has any setbacks, is there any quarterback Nathan Peterman? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, this is like a cesspool. This is really just a cesspool of players. Like, there's none of these guys I'm interested in. Maybe as, like, you know, flyer looks as rotation purposes. Like, really depth, depth pieces or potentially practice squad guys. But outside of that, there's no one I'm really interested in. I'm looking for, like, some sleeper picks. But I don't even see too many good sleeper picks. Stanley Morgan got cut from the Saints. Hey, let's bring back Stanley Morgan. Not really, but tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.